Hello Cancer my darlings and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer I have to try to be a little bit quiet. It's late at night you guys. I'm being led to do your reading early. Um, so just take what resonates Cancer right. Leave the rest behind. You guys know the drill. And thank you so much everyone for all of your support. The love you guys. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Everybody new here. I love you Cancer. I just love you. Um, all right, so Cancer, what I'm getting for the oracles here, uh, there's a, these are just your oracles. Um, and watching you is coming out in reverse. I've got the karmic kind of laying down the law um, wherever your person is. They're not allowed to watch you anymore, okay? She's like, that's it. You're cut off. I don't know if she busted this person watching you. It, it's a good possibility. Um, she's been watching you too, spying on you, whatever you're putting online, because, um, it's something that you're doing, you know, on the internet, or this could be your social media, uh, whatever it is that you're posting, both of these people have been spying on you like this whole time, but we kind of already knew that <laughs> because cancer, you're just so awesome. They can't keep their eyes off of you. So, um, I feel like the masculine is obsessed about you because they're fascinated by you, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, they, they're missing you here, Cancer, bad. They want to reach out. I, I feel like this is a masculine energy. Um, they want you back or they want to come back to you, okay? But, um, yeah, I, I feel like up until this point, they've both been just obsessing with just watching everything you do that's the feeling i'm getting you guys okay well the karmic is starting to get really angry this is a big burst of anger um this is i'm kind of seeing this more as like a queen of swords kind of energy um blocking your person so they she could have been she could have taken away their phone she could have um forbidden them that you you're forbidden okay for real She's like, I forbid you from watching cancer. I forbid you from thinking about cancer. Um, you know, you're not allowed to have anything that you do with cancer, right? Um, I think she just kind of pops off on this person. This could be, this karmic I'm getting could have some mental instabilities, anger management issues. Um, she could have some, maybe some suffering from some childhood trauma, um, that kind of thing. I, I feel like she's very unpredictable and she's kind of losing her mind here. Okay. Um, so your person now is sinking into some kind of depression because you were their only light. Okay. Watching you, I feel was the only time that this person was happy. Um, other than that, these, both of these people are miserable. Okay. Um, both of them could be drinking, but I feel like this is your person's energy. Um, they're acquiring a really bad habit. Like it's becoming an addiction, um, because they've been trying to numb the pain of missing you, yearning for you, longing for you. So this person has taken up some drinking, like hard alcohol. They could even be doing some kind of substance, abusing that as well. Um, they're walking around uh, intoxicated, um, odd behavior here. They're act, they've been acting strange. This is somebody who's trying to isolate themselves and this karmic won't leave them alone. Um, she's watching them like a hawk now too, because she's, she's making sure that this masculine, um, never has anything to do with you. She's making sure that he can't even watch you anymore or he she it's not gender specific this masculine energy can't watch you anymore like she's literally i'm you know it's taking me back to a relationship i had once where um i was with a narcissist and they had an actual list of rules for me pinned on the refrigerator you guys one of those rules was that i was not allowed to have mayonnaise okay <laughs> Okay, and I feel like she's got something similar to that. Like, 
you know, I want you home and in bed by 1030. I, you know, um, you're not allowed to watch cancer. You're not allowed to talk about cancer. Um, yeah, you can't be around anybody that cancer knows, you know. I want to have your phone. I want to. I want the password. I want to be able to put a tap on your phone. I need you to call me when you're leaving uh, to come home from work, midway to work. I mean, this person is under lock and key. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting off of this karmic individual. And this masculine just wants to come back to you. I'm not quite sure why they're even still together. Um, it could be like a trauma bond. It could be that they have, um, they both have the same kind of addiction. Okay. They could be very codependent on each other. This masculine could be afraid of this karmic because she is a bit nutty. All right. I'm not going to lie. She's very, um, she feels very bitter. A very, very bitter individual. Look at, look at, I can't even shuffle the decks tonight, you guys. <laughs> um, very, very bitter individual. Yeah, Queen of Wands energy. And she, I feel like she's very jealous of you. You could be, or he, this masculine, this karmic could be, um, sorry, this karmic could be a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius heavy on Gemini energy, okay? Um, the masculine could be possibly a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, she's mad. She keeps coming out in the reading here as this Queen of Wands energy. Um, very, very jealous of you is the feeling I'm getting off of that. Jealous and angry with your person. And your person, they just want to come in and apologize. They're thinking about sneaking away from this karmic. Uh, some kind of sneaky plan, okay? But, um, yeah, I feel like this person's under lock and key. <laughs> yes, they are. She is blocking every opportunity this masculine has to come towards you. I feel like this is why this masculine hasn't come towards you yet is because the karmic literally will stand in front of the door or um, make sure they don't go anywhere. If they go out to her, their car, something like that, she's like watching everything that they do. This person can't even go to the bathroom without her like watching them, okay? Um, I, this karmic could be a Gemini. I'm picking up heavy on Gemini energy. But I feel like your person's trying to devise some kind of plan to sneak away from her. He may be even enlisting someone else's help, I'm getting. Yeah, enlisting somebody else's help. Look, <laughs> what did I just say? This is collaborating with others. Um, so that this person can sneak away, okay? They may even be feeling like a complete and utter fool at this point, but I feel like that's what this is. Um, I feel like they're um, asking somebody else. They're making some kind of plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that they can come to you. You're the one that they want. You're very grounded. You're very stable. The person they've been dealing with is flipping out all the time. Okay, definitely unstable, all right? But not you, Cancer. I feel like um, this, is, this is being grounded and stable right here with the Queen of Pentacles. You're also very focused on your home right now, your family, um, probably like Christmas preparations, you know. I feel like your, your home is warm and clean. You got your bills paid. Um, you're very abundant. You can handle everything. This is um, somebody who takes care of the finances, the, the children, the home, the bills, the errands. Like, you've got your life together. Um, and you're level-headed, okay? This is being level-headed, down-to-earth energy. And this karmic is a complete opposite of that, okay? She's delusional, She's uh, losing her mind. 
she's flipping out at the drop of a hat and she's literally breathing down this this masculine's neck okay she knows that this masculine wants to come towards you this is a karmic who's trying to hang on to somebody who clearly clearly she knows that he doesn't love her um this masculine loves you okay but um yeah i feel like um this person's okay so they're making some kind of plan they're making um, a plan to have someone else's help. Maybe this is even enlisting a friend to give them a phone call. Hey, buddy, I need you to come over right away, okay? I need you to come over right away. I got a problem. I need to talk, okay? I feel like that your person's thinking that, you know, if there's like an emergency call from a friend, they'll be able to leave and sneak out away from the karmic, and she won't be able to follow them or track them. Okay, and that's when they want to come to you and have this conversation. They're just waiting for the right opportunity to slip away from the karmic. Honestly, you guys, I feel like that's the wrong way to handle this. Um, if this person comes to you and they're not single, they may get an apology out, but it's not. I don't think it's going to go anywhere after that. You're in this Queen of Pentacles energy where you're very deserving of a commitment and you don't settle for less, right? You're not going to settle for less than what you deserve. If this person comes towards you and they're still with that karmic, I feel like it's going to be a no, get out of my driveway, okay? For real. But this masculine, they don't want to let you go. You're literally everything that they could possibly dream of in a partner and you're an earth angel you know cancer i mean make no bones about it you're like everything here you've already got 10 pentacles here just for you you're dedicated you're loyal you're driven you're smart you're beautiful you're independent you're successful um you're um very balanced in your emotions you're an absolute sweetheart here with the temperance angel that's earth angel energy you're very balanced in your emotions you're not flying off the handle and wigging out over everything okay um i feel like you have respect for other people and i feel like this person knows that you respected their choice right you respected their choice. And this karmic has no respect for your person or any kind of boundaries. That's a huge difference in character, okay? She's absolutely nothing like you. I don't think anybody can compare to you in this person's eyes. All right, so they definitely don't want to let you go. They're making up some kind of plan and they're waiting for the perfect opportunity where maybe this karmic is too busy um, to, um, to stop them from going to... It's going to be a fake phone call. I mean, a friend is going to call your person. Here it is, all right, you know, at 3 o'clock, right? At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to call you. I'm going to text message you. At that point, you can sneak out right you can sneak out and take that leap of faith take that risk and go towards cancer okay your empress all this person has to do is wait till three o'clock on what day i have no idea and it may not be three o'clock you guys i'm just seeing a lot of threes and i know that they're working with somebody else i feel like it could be a friend or it could even be you know because this is a page it could even be like um, one of their kids or something like that. I, I feel like it's a friend. <laughs> I feel like it's a friend. Just give me a text message. Say it's an emergency so I can bail. I can sneak away from the karmic, you know, and go and talk to cancer. Where I won't, when I won't be followed by this karmic. Okay. Yeah, see, I feel like that's the plan. I just called it. It's not a secret plan anymore. <laughs> the plan has been exposed, Cancer. And that's it. Yeah, see, this person wants their wish fulfillment. 
I feel like they're thinking of, um, you know, uh, what are my options? How can I, how can I get out of there? I feel like all this person has to do is speak the truth and end something. Okay. This is a cycle that's supposed to be closed out with the wheel of fortune. You know, yeah, look, all they want is to be with you. So they lay in bed, you know, the day before, <laughs> the day before the plan goes down, they're all kinds of nervous because now they have to, not only do they have to be nervous about sneaking away from the karmic, but they're going to be really nervous and um, stressed out about what they're going to say to you. Or they could be thinking about, you know, all the things that they've done to you and the ways that they've um, stabbed you in the back and wondering, you know, how are they, how, what are they going to say to turn this around? Okay. Yeah. The, see, this person's thinking about two different things, the plan and what they're going to say. How are they going to hide the fact that they're still with the karmic, you know? Feel like spirits like do the right thing, buddy. You, you have to do this right. Listen, you know, and I feel like that's why they're so nervous, so panicky. Um, the whole should I do this, should I not do it, right? Um, I feel like a nervousness, you know, uh, off of this person, completely out of balance. And I feel like the divine is, is saying to them, this is not the way to do this. Okay, I feel like this person may be getting a warning. They, I, I, I'm, I'm picking up that they're feeling a warning. They're feeling some negative vibes. You know, like they're having a bad feeling about this, right? I got a bad feeling about this, right? Um, I mean, the plan they think is good. The, the, um, the right opportunity is there, but they know they're handling this wrong cancer. They just know it. So they need the spirits giving them one more chance. Look, in order to get your wish fulfillment, you have to actually do this the right way. You got to do it the right way if you want to get back together. And even then, Cancer, there's no guarantees. You may not even want this person back. Some of you really enjoy being single because nobody's messing with your head. No one's out there breaking your heart. You know, you're, um, no one has the chance to betray you. I feel like you're able to grow some things here too and transform, right? And focus on you. You're feeling good these days. You're feeling really independent. You're feeling very um, confident, right? Confident, strong, focused, happy. This is a very high vibing card very balanced, you're over this person, you're no longer hurting over them, and you're watching your abundance grow. So some of you may not want this person back. Some of you may feel so busy taking care of your own business that, um, you know, you may feel like you don't have any time. You know, I, I just see you out here being really happy on your own. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You may not trust this person again, but they are coming forward, Cancer. Okay? They've been moving way too slow. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. They're scared. They're feeling guarded. Look at how they're guarding themselves. Like this pentacle they're using as a shield. I feel like they're moving undercover maybe under cover of night, so this person may come towards you at nighttime. I feel like they're going to be very cautious because they're going to be, look, I, I'm getting them looking back to see if anybody's following them. This person's paranoid because this, uh, whoever they're worth, with is making them paranoid. Okay, they're constantly being watched. But yeah, this person's coming towards you. Clarify the, thank you. Yeah. And I feel like cancer, here's the thing. They're going to tell you that they've bossed up. They're going to tell you that they're ready to be with you and only you. They're going to tell you that they've worked on themselves. You know, I've worked on myself. I'm a different person now. I've changed. 
right? I'm ready to be everything that you need in a in a partner. I I want to commit. I see this lasting forever. I want to build something solid with you and I I want it to last. I want to get back together, Cancer. But here's the thing. They're going to have to leave again right away, Cancer, because this person isn't breaking away from the karmic. They're only sneaking around. So this is in and out energy very passionate energy they're going to be they're going to be really happy to see you possibly even a bit relieved okay but he and they're going to give you all kinds of promises and tell you that they're ready for you but cancer this person will have to go right back home okay because the karmic has a tight grip on them you know maybe sorry cancer they may even tell you that oh it's going to be months down the road cancer before i can break free from this karmic months so just so you know cancer this person's coming in and you know what they i feel like they are in love with you i feel like they do want you back i feel like they do see you as the perfect person for them um, but man, they still haven't, they still aren't free. They're not single. Okay. Even though the Knight of Wands is usually a single person, but this person is just, it's in and out energy. So they're on the inside, emotionally, they may be ready for you sort of, but they need to get their courage up enough to at least speak the truth to this karmic, stand up to the karmic, show a backbone show that courage and that strength and break free before they come to you okay um may, just make sure that you ask the questions you need to ask the first one should be are you single okay you know are you still with someone else <laughs> right um I, they're gonna get a little bit jumpy if you ask them that i feel they're not going to, they may not want to talk about the karmic. I see this person putting a lot of serious strategic thought into what they're going to say. Well, if I tell cancer this, cancer might ask me that. And then I'm going to have to tell them that to cover up for this. I mean, you know what I mean? That's what it's looking like to me. This is them thinking about what they're going to say to you. And they're trying to figure out a way to kind of cover something up, I feel. And that's the fact that they're still with the karmic. And the karmic, they're, livid, they're, uh, they're accepting her rules even. And pretending. And living a lie. And it's all fake. And, and if they tell you that, right, you're going to see them as being a coward. You know, I mean, it, th this is strategic thought on what they're going to say. So, yeah, cancer, get ready, because this person, yep, and it's all the truth. I'm telling you, it's the truth. You know, you're going to have to use your intuition with this person. Um, and on top of it all, you guys, I am feeling like they're, They've been doing so much drinking. There's so much drinking being done in that karmic situation. It's turned into an addiction. Or it could be something even worse, a substance. Okay? Just so you know, this person has changed, but I, I, I'm, I'm really feeling like they took, a ch they, they took a change for the worst, really. Okay? And all they want is you. All they want is their Ten of Cups back. Anyway, my darlings, I'm going to take this into the extended because I want to see how this uh, communication goes. It's, it's about to go down. Um, this is kind of a tricky plan that they've made, and they're going to go through with this plan. I just don't like the fact that they're coming in and they're going to have to leave right away. Okay? So I want to see what they're going to say how you're going to react, what's going to happen in that communication, all right? Um, if you're interested in the extended, there's a link to follow in the description box below that'll take you straight to Patreon. 
and cancer i do hope this helps i hope it resonates with you my darlings um click that like button subscribe to the channel you guys join this awesome soul tribe and until next time cancer take care of you and peace out